everyone, welcome to the demo, run AI and NetApp Kubernetes orchestration solution. Here's the agenda. The goal for this demo will show NetApp and run AI smart Kubernetes orchestration solution to maximize cluster GPU usage by fractional GPU allocation, allowing projects to go over quota and preemptive scheduling to maintain fairness. In this walkthrough, we'll provide detailed commands to submit jobs, monitor status, and give an overview of Run AI dashboard to explain the concepts of over quota and beam packing consolidation and how they help in maximizing cluster utilization. We'll show the simplicity of resource provisioning and how resources are abstracted from users. We'll also show how the system eliminates compute bottlenecks by allowing teams and users to go over quota if there are free GPUs in the cluster. The setup and configuration is we have 16 GPUs total on two DGX systems with eight GPUs each. We have two projects, Team A and Team B, each with eight allocated GPUs. We'll use Run AI Kinetical Image, a quick start container for our training workloads. And we'll also have interactive workloads simulating data scientists using a Jupyter Notebook to develop and prototype their model. Before the demo starts, we have some jobs running already. As you can see on this dashboard, there are active jobs, GPU utilization, and GPUs provisioned for each project. Here we see Team A and Team B. Part 1 is we'll show Run AI features. On the Run AI deploy node, we submit a job using Run AI submit command by provisioning two GPUs to this job and we specify a container image. Next, we can get the status of Team B's jobs by using run AI get command. So you see now the image has been successfully created. We go back to the run AI dashboard overview to see that new job is being submitted and run within active jobs. Current GPU utilization is 65%. When the job's being run, you can refresh it and see the GPU utilization increased to 86%. This is a healthy cluster GPU utilization. We always want to maximize GPU utilization while keeping idle GPUs to very low and also low pending jobs. Next, we'll show the feature of using run AI logs to see the detail of that job run. This is useful when you want to debug or just see the training results for each epoch. Here we're saying, seeing different loss, different accuracy, because this is a deep learning training job. Next, we can use a media SMI to see there are four GPUs for this job. Each job is using the full 32 gigabytes of memory for each GPU. Now we exit the container and we will show if you bash into a job that is being provisioned fractional GPUs, in this case 0.3 of a single GPU, you can see that this job is using 9 gigabytes of memory, which is a third of what's available within a single DGX GPU. This is very useful when jobs are interactive, meaning that data scientists are prototyping or debugging or developing their model, you don't need that many memory or a whole powerful DGX GPU for that job. We show that by using fractional GPU allocations, you have the flexibility to accommodate multiple data science teams and multiple users. Next, we exit the container and list all jobs using run AI list command. So you can see GPUs provisioned for B7 job is 0.7 GPU, for B03 is 0.3 GPUs. And now we are seeing Team A going over quota. The soft quota provision for Team A is 8, but now Team A is using 12 GPUs. This is the benefit of using Run AI system. The quota itself is a reference, is for setting priorities. But when there are GPUs available, the system will provision and allow teams to go over quota. Now we see the job B3 is getting created, meaning that the containers are downloading and Kubernetes cluster is creating the pod for that job. And now that job is running with eight GPUs. In this case, we want to show basic fairness via preemption. When the jobs for Team B is requesting more resources, how would the system be fair? In this case, we're seeing both Team A and Team B using eight GPUs, and one job for Team A is now pending because the system preempts this job to preserve fairness. Note that the job status will be saved within checkpoints. This ensures that whenever job A1 resume, it will do so from where it let off. 
Now let's look at the analytics page. You can see here GPU allocated per teams and a time series of GPU allocation per project. So we're seeing that team B is requesting more and more resources and then the system saturates with each teams using eight GPUs. Now we see if you list all the jobs, they are all running now with job A1 pending because of preemptive scheduling. Now we delete all jobs to clear the cluster. You can see from jobs view, each job, the submission time, runtime, GPU requested, and the run status. Now we see the jobs are being deleted as shown in their status. You can have different users, different teams with different resources allocated to them. In the project view, you see two projects with different assigned GPUs, and you can also assign training node affinity to make that project preferably running on a node that you specified. Run AI's Kubernetes orchestration solution is very flexible and you can configure it in different ways according to your needs. As a Kubernetes administrator, this will ensure each team get the resource according to their priority, business value, and the expected hardware resource they will consume. Let's go back to the dashboard to see all GPUs are available because we have deleted all the jobs. This concludes the demo. Thank you so much.